Hello again, I'm Jeff Sherry. I'm the museum educator at the Hagen History Center. And today we're gonna to talk about the uniform of a War of 1812 sailor. Now our sailor model here is wearing a pretty typical uniform. I should point out there is no uniform regulation in the Navy for enlisted men until well after the War of 1812. So what he's wearing is a fairly typical uh, uniform, if you will. It also fits written descriptions of sailors of that time. From the top down, his tarred top hat. Now, earlier sailors wore a more a flatter hat, also tarred or painted black for waterproofing. And his ribbon on the front says Niagara. Now, this sailor is wearing the standard blue wool coat. Now, again, no regulations, but uh, we'll discuss why sailors after a time may have started to look or dress alike. He's wearing the check, blue and white check shirt. Now, check shirts at that time in American history were often considered working men's shirts. On board a ship, the man in charge of providing clothing for the uh, crew was called the purser, and he would simply buy uh, say 20 shirts, 50 shirts at a time. So they might all be the same. So after a while, the crew might tend to take on a uniformed look. The red vest or waistcoat, very common at the time, and the high collars, like with the 1812 army uniform, are very typical of that time period. Brass buttons on his blue wool jacket, no insignia at that time. And this is commonly known as a sailor's jacket. You'll note the shortness of it allows him to have access to his knife belt. If he were in the rigging, he might need his knife or a fid, a tool used for uh, splitting rope apart in the rigging. This sailor has a cutlass on his hip, and this is a short, sturdy bladed sword used in close combat. It was not uncommon, even in the War of 1812 or later, for two ships to pull side by side and board, though none of that would happen in the Battle of Lake Erie. It was not standard issue. These were issued only in combat. He carries his sea bag on his back, made of canvas. Often these are very, very heavily adorned with embroidery, painting, uh, every port a sailor may have been in, his, his ship's number, his name, of course, things like that. This is his knapsack. This is what he lives out of. All of his earthly possessions are in this sea bag. Now his trousers are also made of linen in the broad fall pattern, and his shoes are made of leather. Of course, now aboard a ship, he may have gone barefoot. Well, this more or less concludes our discussion of a War of 1812 Sailor. Thank you. Please join us again as there will be more installments.